What's going on everybody? Today we're back with another video. We're just uh, heading out here from Angler's Lodge in uh, Island Park, uh, Idaho. So yeah, we'll get on the road. I think we might be going to a Catalyst 858 demo ride today. We'll see you there. We just arrived at the 858 demo day here. We're gonna go back, gear up, and uh, sign ourselves up. And we'll get out on a ride on one of these things and see what they're all about. Um, I just wanted to go check out and see if they had availability, so they do. So we'll go gear up, get ready, and then we'll go and test it out. And I'll kind of do like a little bit of a, a video of me talking while riding and see how the sled feels. Tap for me. Where are we at here? West Yellow. Oh look, we got a little sled on there. What's this dude? I'm gonna press that. There we go. Oh wow. Join our group as a ride. Rider. Watch, they'll pull up and we'll just join them. <laughs> Maybe they are all joined in a group right now. They probably are. We're going 55 miles an hour. Holy cow. Pretty cool gauge actually. Yeah. What's the storage like? Is there no storage on this thing? What is that? That's just, that's all you get. That's the, you know. That's your storage compartment. Maybe set of goggles. The we were using is starting to get tracked out, on, but we're gonna bring you to it and let you play. Um, these are primarily mountain sleds, so you're gonna wanna have fun and experience it. So that's the goal, is get you out there and, and try to experience it in a reasonable time frame. So. Um, when we get out there, I'll just stop and we'll give five or ten minutes for people to flip flop sleds. We encourage you to try as many sleds as you can and um, I encourage you to chit chat when you get back. Not while you're out in the field because you're wasting your five or ten minutes to play and really experience the sleds. It's got the QS5 shocks on it with the 154 alpha rail. No big gauge on it. Um, I think the storage compartment is not uh, decent. Maybe a set of goggles in there. But, uh, yeah. This is Cat's new, uh, this is their old new shock. So it's, a five, it's a five position. So each click is like uh, three to five pounds. And so you can soften. You can soften them by <laughs> clicking them back. Yeah. Running boards feel good. Anson, you excited or what? Yeah. See how it is. 858. Pretty sweet. 154. Like you got the three inch, I think. I got the two six. Whatever. Big vents. Okay, we're just leaving here. We're on the 154, two and a half. Anson's got the three inch 154. We're ripping.
see feels really freaking nipple. I will say that, like it is nipple. Okay, uh, what are we on here? 46? Yeah, we're on 146. Switched out. Do a trail sled now. I'm already noticing the shocks. They're not as good. I gotta get rid of this thing. I definitely, uh, that's just not, the crossover's not my style. Be interested to take this one back on the trail though. It'd probably be a weapon. I actually really like that 54 Alpha. You want a switch quick and get the 600 a little? Yeah, sure. I'll see what the 600's about. I'm on the 600 now, 154, two and a half. See how she wheelies compared to the one, 858. Same snow. It ain't even close. That 858 has some good jam, real good jam. Six hundred feels light, though. I don't know if I like the six hundred. The six hundred's not good. Oh. <laughs> How do you like that thing? Oh, this thing also sucks. Yeah, that's the sled right there. What? That's the best best sled yet. Oh yeah, you want to get on this? Yeah. No, I, I rode the 146. Here. Have you tried the 600, Anson? No. Here, try it. Okay, we're back on this uh, Riot crossover, 858. Immediately more jam. We're going to see how it handles the trails. That 858 with those QS5 shocks are unreal, dude. You definitely handle. New gauge too. We should uh, go into the nice, nice big screen. Perfect. I like the screen. I will say that. That's nice. Nicer than the ski do. Little storage. Pretty good. About just about wrist deep. The storage. Yeah, the motor's got some good jam on her, that's for sure. Yeah, it, it's strong. It's it's good, yeah. At every level, too. Oh, it kept the wheelie, like on the, the 858 with the QS5s, wheelie just like that and kept yeah. and held it. It was like really surprising, actually. I'm really impressed with this. Out here on the 858 demo ride that Articat's going on, pretty cool. Look at all of them. Jump in with the boys. Pretty lucky. That's a 154. This thing feels really comfy on the trail. I will say that, and actually it's smooth 
on the top end too. It doesn't really seem to lose the top end. I thought it would just be really torquey and didn't really have much top end, but it has top end too, which is actually pretty surprising. I actually really enjoyed it. I would definitely probably buy one of those 146s. Okay, we just got done with the A58 demo ride there. Um, pretty fun. I will say uh, maybe a 146, um, two and a half with the A58 would be crazy with those QS5s. The QS5s were unreal, I found, compared to the other shocks that they had. So uh, yeah, that would be my best choice, I think. Maybe a 154. The 154 wheelie is still really good too. So, uh, okay, Justin, what do you think of the demo ride today? So I've done demoing some cats. Uh, rode a 146, 858, and a 600, and an 858 with the QS, QS5s. QS5s, yeah. QS5s, so that would be my big topic as well. Yeah. The 600, just, you grab no. a handful of throttle and you're just wondering, where's the <laughs> Yeah. It's just it's not comparable to the 858, okay? I will say though, I still miss a turbo. Oh yeah, I was thinking the same thing actually, but yeah. I will say they did have torque and they had the top end too. So that was uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, let's go ride. Let's do it. <laughs>